going on? What's up, man? <laughs> we are freshly out of Top Gun Maverick. Yeah, we are. How are you feeling? I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. There's a couple of things I want to touch note on this mini cast. So, for those of you who don't know, Miguel and I are taking over this mini cast for Top Gun Maverick for the nerds. Yeah. So we're doing, I think it's mini cast 10. Thank you, Brian, Renee, and Nick. Yeah, for allowing us to do this. <laughs> we're fresh out of it. We got these cool pins. We got them. We got them to show. They were really fun. There, we really got them. Cool pins. I missed the era where we got posters, but it's okay. Pins are better. Pins, pins? are a little bit more permanent. Yeah. Right. Well, yeah, probably you lose posters. Yeah, you do. They get uh, scratched. Yeah, I don't know. they bend. You, uh, they get wrinkles. <laughs> true. Um, oh. But freshly off Maverick. Yes. Um. First reactions. What do you think? What did you think of it? Just sum it up, and we'll go. We'll go into depth, obviously. Clearly, there are there are now five perfect sequels. There used to be four. Now there's five. So obviously we have Aliens. Yes. Terminator Two. Yes. Empire Strikes Back. Yes. Do you want to name the fourth one? Shrek Two. And Top Gun Maverick. Yep. We came up with this list on the spot, and yeah. that's only because we're naming sequels. We're not going to go too much, but top five is pretty good. There's a top five, top yeah. Maverick. This is a number five film. This is a perfect film. A, not a perfect film, a perfect sequel. The film exceeds the first one as well as it carries on the legacy properly. I agree. It's been 36 years since we've seen the last one. Insane to exactly. think about that. Because... 36 years have gone by and the energy that we got tonight guys from the crowd that we saw immediately when we pulled up to the movie theater we saw a bubble of people and i was like you think they're all here for the same movie and i swear everybody that was in that concession stand was getting their snacks to go inside and see the movie yeah that was the crowd that we were went in and everybody was super energetic i was on the edge of my seat i kept moving my legs i kept eating my popcorn and I finished steaks like were high pizza steaks were high steaks were high in this film they had an awesome popcorn bucket they did <laughs> kind of looked like a ufo top though it looked like a trash can i'm sorry <laughs> okay you're right you're right <laughs> it looked like one of those small trash cans not hating on the merch but it we both looked at each other was like should we I, like, I wanted it. Uh, I did. I'm not going to lie. I no, wanted it. No, but we had already prior, like, we had gotten in prepared with our basket. Yeah. So yeah. we were like, mm, this is just double the, the popcorn. You're right. Um, um, all right. You've seen, you remember I remember pieces. bits and pieces bits of and this pieces. movie. Do I remember most? I was, there was honestly some moments where I would look over, people would be reacting, and I would be with, like, whispering to Adam. I'd be like, hey, Adam, like, Miguel talks in movies. What's going on? And I know it's like it sucks <laughs> to, like, to the be sin, like the sin. The sin. It's a movie, sin. Yeah. yeah. But I was just like, I have no idea. And I want to ask him after the movie. And of course, I know we're doing this, but I don't want this to be a, an hour long full of yeah. questions because I got context. I did. I just yeah. have to wait it's, and be patient. The I say it's like so. The film's not perfect because no film is perfect. There's it's vague on what you what they talk about in the first one like if you don't if you miss it you miss it yeah or if you don't kind of put it together because they just show you real quick flashbacks real quick photos and it's like oh you know it's it's not very like concrete on what they're trying to say yeah definitely in terms of casting though i think this is one of the prettiest casts. <laughs> it's a pretty good cast it's a pretty good cast and everybody has time to show uh their light but the one who definitely steals the show, at least for me, is Miles Teller. Yeah. Um, He's the main character of these new it's, recruits it's in Top the, Gun. Yeah, it's what the story, in a sense, kind of like revolves around. Because you got that force, you got Tom Cruise, right? Yeah. You got to give him a reason to come back to the Top Gun program. Well, he didn't and need it. He was he, put back there. He was put back there, but in the sense of the emotional, yeah, like... The, oh yeah, the more, yeah. The more, to higher the, the stakes. more like you know and also to kind of give in a sense a conclusion to a message that he was battling yeah. with himself yeah of letting go yeah because he obviously still feels responsible for bradshaw's death yeah so for somebody who had to ask these questions yes who know these glimpses and bits and pieces for the sake of the question this is really your first time inter watching a top gun film start to finish yeah What's your ex what would you say your experience was overall? I had such a great time with this movie. I didn't yeah. feel bored once. 
Mm -hmm. I felt emotionally connected to these uh, characters. I almost felt like tearing up in moments where, yeah. you know, there would be Tom Cruise and Miles Teller, and they were yeah. they were having like these there was battles between themselves, and uh, you know they equally felt as responsible, but also at the same time there was no closure and like that story pulling out the even the romantical side of things like i was kind of like smiling at the whole jennifer connelly and tom cruise romance that would just kind of yeah came out of it, nowhere but it's brand new yeah. because she's not the original girl as you stated yeah and that's confusing because there's no address in the film there is there's a dress off the screen yeah and two of the two of the main the two main female leads in the film in the original top gun said they never get the call they never got the call. That's very come suspicious. Back. I agree. Then suspicious. But the, did it overshadow the plot? No. It just... Hey, well, did the, it? this is what the director had to say. The director says, hey, those were just two storylines that we feel didn't fit into the film. That doesn't make any sense exactly. even more. That's more mainly suspicious. Mainly because, mainly because there's things that uh, Tom Cruise and Jennifer Connelly, the interactions they have in between each other are straight from... Uh, I think her name's like, like Terry Carol. Gillis McGillis. Yeah. Uh, they give her, they give Jennifer Connelly's character. Her name is Penny. They give her this Callie McGillis. There's scenes that they reenact with Jennifer Connelly. And it doesn't seem right because I, I've seen this, but you're not the right actor yeah. or actress. Excuse me. It's, it's one of those things when they do like a rehire, but they don't want to admit that it's a rehire yeah. and everyone. You just have to just kind of acknowledge it. You fine. don't have to acknowledge it. They give five minutes of like, well, you always seem to leave or yeah. you always seem to do this or, you know, like you just piss another admiral There's, off and yeah. now you're gone. Like you broke my heart. But it's like, girl, like wow. you're in the same bar that these people met in the first place. Exactly. With a child that yeah. knows you. Yeah, exactly. There's 36 years of story that we've missed and suddenly there's this love interest that that tom cruise has that he doesn't have in the first one in a sense though like again does it overshadow the plot no, no because, because the their focus is miles yeah, teller their chemistry works together yes which their makes it okay did, yeah. it makes it okay the you, you know this, this is coming out friday this is we're recording this tuesday may geez 24th yeah comes out may 20 Amazing. may 27th you must be asking when they when they shot the film because if the film takes about two years to film or to shoot production all that all that good stuff two years ago we're in the midst of a pandemic in may well you know this was originally set to come out may 30th 2018 sorry that's when they first started filming it oh okay i was gonna be like damn they started filming this prior then yeah it it was set to originally release July twelfth, two thousand nineteen, but got pushed back to June of twenty twenty. Obviously, it didn't come out. So pandemic, and then two years later, we're finally from its second release date. We're finally set in May of twenty twenty two. I'm very glad it released now because yeah. I think had it released during the pandemic, it wouldn't have been as successful. I agree. Agree. But right now, I mean, that's yet to be debatable. But I feel like because of what I've seen, this is definitely a movie to check out. This is the yeah. beginning of a summer movie. Not only that, this is a film you can't do on streaming services. This had Absolutely to be. Not. This had to be a big, a big screen film. Yeah, the the scenes that we saw tonight, I was blown away. Even from that very first scene that we saw, um, him pushing like what? What was the count? What is it? It was like ten. Uh, ten knots. Ten knots. Ten knots. And you see, you see the fire on the wings. You yeah, see, it's like, heating up. You see everything, and it looks so realistic. And it's huh. like, okay, that that can't be made up, right? It's it just blew, but just from that first, like they they had me hooked on that first. No, half. yeah, like, they had me. It was great. They had me hooked, great. and everything else was beautifully and shot. And I think it's because um, Brian earlier had said that prior to seeing this movie we have to see like a behind the scenes featurette yeah. for it we were watching it before we started recording this and then we uh, find out through um uh, miles teller because this is the interview that they're like conducting they're like hey so like how were you prepared uh to do all these stunts he's like well you know what with tom cruise like he does his own stunts and he thinks it's fun but what fun is for him is probably hell for other yeah. people however 
you see them go through this three months program that they that Tom Cruise himself has set up for these actors I mean, to get into the role, like to get approved, into me- right? yeah, to get into the mentality yeah. of like this is what we go through. This is yeah. training, like boot camp training, so that way they're more prepared. Very fear factor. Yeah. Very fear factor esque. Had that feeling because there's a scene where they're underwater that even we the, were watching. Yeah. Even the it's director crazy. was saying it's like there's you there, you can't reenact. You can't act that like gravity pressure like crushing your lungs or yeah your your like your lungs giving up or you blacking out like there's some scenes where i'm like this this like this actor is actually passing out yeah like this actor passed out yeah. i'm pretty sure except i mean obviously clearly there's some moments where like one of them did yeah but i feel like that was all safe and everything like, but it's not like but obviously die. that's the film but that's the, the film yeah yeah they're passing out in the film i don't think they actually passed out recording that who knows though? But the fear, I mean, yeah, just yeah, like this is the way fit, like, yeah, there's you, a character named Bob where like you can see like his eyes just kind of like and they're starting swirling, yeah, like yeah. and they're just I was like, oh wow, it's crazy. It's it's it's, crazy. it's a really it's, fun movie. It's action packed. It's yeah. a great action movie. No, one hundred percent because the first one embodies an eighty films, eighties film perfectly. And I mentioned that yesterday on the podcast. Well, earlier today on the podcast when we recorded it, but by the time they're watching this, it'd be yesterday. Um, th- and it. This one is a a blend of that nostalgic nostalgia of the 80s in the modern day and it's Top Gun perfectly portrayed in today's standard in today's effects. And you have to give it to Tom Cruise cuz Tom Cruise does his own stunts. Yeah. And his involvement in the in the film is very much important and it's very good as well as him not entirely overshadowing his cast absolutely not i feel like everyone had a, a, a time to shine from John those who Hamm, needed it those who needed those it because needed it, yeah. like a, a character like hangman didn't need that time because his purpose there was to be a parallel to ice it, right yeah yeah exactly which we see ice ice man in this one it's sad to see what val kilmer like that so val well, kilmer actually has a, a, a disease he can't talk anymore oh is that yeah actually, so they that's wrote real that they wrote that in yeah so they put that into the film, and to see him is nice. He looks the exa- like, it, he looks he still looks good for what he's been through, but yeah. So obviously they brought him back. They brought back uh, uh I think his name Kondo, um, uh the guy who Kane who, or now Kane's also in the first one. Oh, point is they brought back a bunch of old characters. It was good to see him. Uh, Kondo, or I think his name's Kondo. He's the second Rio for a Maverick. After uh, Goose dies in the first one. Yeah. But to see, you know, Tom Cruise be able to support his characters in that way, his these actors, and really have him be a supporting character yeah. as well as a leading character, you don't see that often. You don't see that often because this is obviously his story and Miles Taller's story. It's their stories in this film. They're- and the... They're constantly switching from main character to supporting character. And it's it's interesting to see. We don't see that often in cinema. And it's really nice to see it here. Where they can constantly switch roles. They can switch from main to supporting. Like that. Yeah. From the tone of the scene. There was a there was a moment towards the end of the climax where I thought it the movie was gonna end. Mm-hmm. And then it kept going. Yeah. And I was very happy about that because yeah. had they left it like that, I feel like it would have disrespected or pissed off a couple bands. Maybe, um, maybe. I think you know what what scene I'm talking about, but I'm not gonna say it. Yeah. To not get into spoilers, there's one scene I want to talk about that's really, really good. It's where after after the main. Oh gosh, this is it's spoiler territory. It I is. Like, well, okay, because it comes out. Point is, they're in the woods. They're in the woods. <clears throat> And Tom Cruise says, what are you doing here? And he's like, you should have been back on the base. He's like, what were you thinking? And Miles Taller responds, you told me not to think. <laughs> the movie theater was laughing. It was the perfect response. And it takes like, and it goes to show like, this is a serious moment. But yet you can't help but laugh because the it's chemistry. so true. Yeah. yeah. They had it. They had Incredible really chemistry, chemistry together. Yeah. Especially because they had to channel that they both had a closure within themselves that yeah. they couldn't really no. 
you know. I agree. Um, really fun movie. Yeah. Really to wrap this it. up, to wrap this up, I want to talk about the original, the original box office. So it was made on about I think 15 million, the for, uh, the first Top Gun, and it made around 757 million. Well, that's at its box office stands right right now. I think the original when it first came out was like only 107 million, but over the 36 years it's made 357 million. Very nice. Yeah, obviously in that uh, in that in today's standard, the budget for Top Gun Maverick is 152 million. How much money do you think this movie's making? It's a summer film, and it's bringing it's older a sequel reboot. Not generations, but yeah. older crowds, as we saw tonight. Yeah. Um, I'm pretty sure it's already in the million. Yeah. Maybe. <clears throat> for well, the, of course. For the, of course. For the weekend, of course. For the of weekend. course. But overall, I don't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't be. Able Can't to take a guess. I'm. Yeah. You can. You can I'm gonna have to take. I'm gonna say it's taking no. It's not. It's not making any more than five hundred million dollars, which I feel like for a film like this would be successful. That's a good. That's a good take home number. Five hundred million over for the, the weekend, or just in general? Oh, for this entire box office, it's not gonna make a hundred five hundred million in a weekend. It's got to release worldwide, and I don't think it's probably going to uh, this weekend. And potentially, it's more of a weekend though. It's a long True. weekend. True. True. Which it will make more. I'm gonna say about one hundred twenty-five million yeah. for its opening weekend. Yeah, that's actually it falls on a pretty good weekend, especially on Friday. Yeah, the theaters are gonna be packed. Well, the last couple years, Memorial Day weekend hasn't done good though. Solo came out in 18, bombed. That's Solo. But it's Star Wars. But it's a recast. But it's still Star Wars. Yeah, but it's the recast. Ooh. That's the thing. I feel like because it's not Harrison Ford. Had it been Harrison Ford, then it would have been a little better. That's, and yeah. that's also coming off The Last Jedi. True. I'll give you that. But to wrap up, what are your final thoughts? Top Gun Maverick. Go see... Top Gun Maverick, even if you haven't seen the first one. Even if actually, seen the first go, one. See the, go see the Watch first the one. Watch the first one first, which is streaming now on Netflix. No paid pon- uh, sponsorship. Until the end of the month. <clears throat> Until It'll, the end of the month. It'd be four days which from Friday. Just five days yeah. from now. It's off of Netflix on May 31st. Yeah, 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 yeah. But definitely check it out. I had a really good time. If you want to see an action packed, fun, definitely nostalgic movie. That other people will understand if you even haven't seen the first yeah. one, go see it. Yeah, it's um, a good war film that's be, not really a war film. Yeah, I think it just it and and for those who who think that they don't want to see it because it probably has a patriotic agenda to America. And let me tell you right now, I didn't get that feeling whatsoever. It's not even about America. It's not even about America. Yeah, it's just about Navy, a Navy group that is He's the airmen. best of their best. Yeah, best pilots, and they're fighting for a cause, but there's also drama. Uh, and it <clears throat> and it tells a good story right. without it shoving an agenda, a political agenda, or any type of like, hey, we're patriots, or hey, you know, like, because lately, yeah, it doesn't give you that feeling. Guns it just blazing. gives you a good story that yeah. is set within the military branch. Yeah. And I really enjoyed it. I think that rough, that that sums it up perfectly. I think that's a perfect way to put it. Thank you. But I think that's going to do it for this. Absolutely. All right, Thank well, you, nerds, for letting us take over yeah. this mini cast. We really appreciate it. You can find the nerds more at Keeping Up with the Nerds on Instagram. I and think on Twitter too. I'm not sure. To be on their honest. YouTube as well. And check out our Instagram at Our Real Addiction. Sick Parvis Magnet. Sick. Par- I was Adam. And I'm Angel. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try uh, that one more uh, time. That's gonna be my actual uh, my name, Angel. Wow. For, oh, that's a good one. That's for, a good one. Okay, my, b- b- before we sign off. Yeah, what sorry. Would be, what would be your, your call sign? Angel. Angel? Yeah, yeah that's cool. Because I'm in the skies. All right. That, oh. Okay. <laughs> and it's okay. my middle name. Okay. All right. <laughs> I don't have one yet. We'll find out. Yeah. On the next what episode. Say? Yeah, well, I don't know. I don't know what mine be. I don't know what my call tank would be. Honestly, Ironside. Ironside. Nah. I, I don't have a call tag. I'm right. boring. We'll find out. No, I'm boring. No, no, no. Tapia's okay. pretty good, though. Your last know. name is pretty good. Yeah, but I want a name. I, well, I guess it can be like Bob. It can be Joel. Bob. Or oh, Joel. No. No. Nah. It's fine. Point <laughs> is, let's uh, signing off. I'm Adam. And I'm Miguel. This was our real addiction takeover. Taking, taking over, keeping up with the nerds is Minicast 10, I believe. Yeah, Minicast issue 10. We don't even know. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Sick Parvis Magna. Sick Parvis Magna.